Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Click Digest. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my experience of the Windows Continuum feature. The Continuum feature is available only on limited number of devices as of now. One of which is the Lumia 950 XL that we have here, and we have been using it for some time. It works uh, in conjunction with this uh, Continuum Display Dock. You can also make it work over Miracast wirelessly as well. In this video, I'll talk about my experiences and what it means to have Continuum with you. Let's get started. First thing I'll talk about what is Continuum and how it works. I'll keep it very brief for those of you who already know it. Please skip this part and fast forward this video. For those of you who don't know it, Continuum is a feature with which you can connect your Windows smartphone to an external display using a dock or wirelessly and use it like a full blown PC with a keyboard mouse support and an external large screen display. We have done separate videos on how this works and given a review of the uh, display dock as well. So do check out the other videos. Playlists are provided in the description section. I'll talk only this much in this part. Second thing I'll talk about is whether it is useful or not. In my personal use of this, I find it to be fairly useful, but it may not be useful for all users. It will be useful for many who use devices for productivity, especially those who use multiple devices for productivity. Me as a personal user, I use a smartphone, I use a laptop and uh, sometimes a tablet for consumption, but not so much. My major two devices are smartphone and a PC. Now consider this uh, use case scenario where I just need to check my emails, where I need to watch some videos on large screen and where I need to reply to certain emails and browse certain internet websites in full blown desktop mode. In that case, I can totally avoid having a PC with me and use this with the display dock or with Miracast support. I can use this to use it to kill emails, write long write ups, browse internet and sometimes creating documents which are very lengthy. And I can do that very productively on a large screen device. Now, if you are a user who is very different from me and main usage of your smartphone device is only consuming media, replying to instant messages, etc., you can do without continuum feature and you would not find much of a difference here. But if you are someone who uses productivity, uses the phone or PC and you have dependency on two devices, this will reduce that dependency and bring everything here. Lastly, in my third point, I'll talk about where it is useful and what's special about Continuum. First benefit is that it is always in sync. So when you are checking emails, when you are typing emails, when you are at a draft and you have to uh, leave for a meeting or something, you just disconnect your device and walk away. Wherever you left your work, it will still be there. You will be exactly in sync when you are using this device in a PC mode or standalone as a phone mode. In both cases, all the apps, etc. remain the same. Those are universal apps which scale up to a large monitor and you're never losing even one single character that you type on that application. Second benefit, it is very portable. You can carry it around. You can take it to your meetings. You can come back, use it as a phone, connect it to the desktop when you are at your desk and use it in a full blown PC configuration. Reason three is that it is always connected. Unlike carrying dongles or extra stuff to connect to internet while you are carrying your PC with you, this one is always connected because you are either on Wi-Fi or an, on a mobile data network when you are using your phone. And when you connect it to an external display, you always have data connection because it is being run through your phone. Fourth benefit is there is seamless switching. As soon as you run an application here, it is closed on the external display, which means that you are now using it in phone mode. When you run the same application on your continuum display, it stops here and moves there. So there is seamless connectivity and you do not lose any part of data or any part of work that you are doing on that app at any particular moment. And fifth and very interesting benefit of using continuum is that it can be used at multiple places. For example, I have a continuum dock at my office where I use it for most productivity applications and I can use it with my television device at home with a Miracast dongle that I have anyways plugged into my PC or some TVs anyways come with Miracast support these days. So I can stream videos and web browsing 
through this onto my television and enjoy media at home. So in the nutshell, is it useful and should you spend your money on Continuum features? Yes, if you find use for it. Yes, if you use a lot of productivity applications. Yes, if you type a lot. And yes, if you use large screen displays and tablets more often. If you don't use tablets or large screen devices anyways, you would not feel the difference when you spend extra on a Continuum device. So it is not recommended for users who do not do productivity tasks. But for young professionals, or executives like me who always have to carry two devices to stay connected, who have to use keyboards for typing, etc. It is a very useful device and is a very different way of computing. If you want to pick either a Lumia device with Continuum or a Display Doc, I am leaving Best Buy links in the description section below where you can pick up one for yourself. For more such videos, stay subscribed. We are coming up with more coverage on the Lumia 950 XL. This is all we have on this one. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.